Hey everyone, this is Ben Beck with you in the Midwest Model Shop. In today's episode, we're going to cover a few things. First of all, welcome to part one of the poop deck. I've gone ahead and divided the videos up because I don't want it to get too long. So we get about halfway done and we wrap up some stuff on the back end of the ship before moving up to the poop deck. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's episode. Uh, the second thing I want to do is I want to give a shout out to the Norwegian modeling bench. That's Mr. Kenneth over there. He's super awesome. He's doing a great video series that I've been subscribed to now on the build of the USS Enterprise CV-6, the one that I'm going to build. And it's his, his videos he's using on Ponto's detail set are absolutely fantastic. So I know a lot of you are patiently waiting for me to finish up Titanic and move on to that. If you'd like to get your Enterprise fix, go ahead and check out his channel. Don't forget to give him a like and subscribe and click the little bell icon. He puts out videos fairly regularly so you can see his progress on the Enterprise. Kenneth's a great guy, does a wonderful job. Uh, and admittedly, I've been in cahoots with him and Jim uh, Elchek, who, um, he, he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but they are both building the Enterprise, obviously right now at the same time. And uh, Jim's been very good about putting together a bunch of notes uh, and emails that we've shared between the three of us just to see any potential pitfalls and problems that you may run into. This is, of course, going to be invaluable to me when I go ahead and start uh, my build. So go ahead and check them out. Uh, that's it. Thank you again to all the Patreon subscribers. And yeah, let's get into Titanic build. All right, back in action. We are, uh, let's see, on the back end of the ship. This is the boat deck. This is A deck. B deck. Uh, I've gone ahead and already installed this beam right here. Uh, I've seen it in a lot of pictures. It's in the instructions. It's for a swing set, as far as I could tell. They had little hooks underneath it, uh, and, and then the first class passenger kids could swing. And obviously, you could throw a tarp over the top of it and make a big canopy over this uh, entire area. Moving along, though, we're going to go ahead and install this little bench down here. Uh, these are made up and ready to go. i got to throw the other one in on the other side here. Here we are over on the uh, port side. Now, just kind of for me, a psychological thing. Um, I made these up earlier, and then I, I didn't end up painting all of the black part, the little um, you know part right there, the iron. And the reason I didn't is it just was too much. There was too many... Um, benches to deal with. So anyway, before I put these in, I just had went ahead and painted them up black and installed them. And I think that's something that might help you. If you're getting tired, uh, just make up enough of what you need to do and, and work on that stage. That way you're completing an area. And when that area is complete, uh, you could just move on. Yeah, well, we have to paint up more. I've got, um, we're going to come back here to the poop deck and we've got a gazillion of them here. They're made they are painted brown, but I got to paint all the black uh, cast iron parts. But you know that's okay. Uh, I'll, that's like part of this area. So uh, let's go ahead and press on here. We need to. It's kind of a bad angle, but there's a set of stairs here on both sides. Then obviously we need to throw in our uh, two and a half ton cranes for the aft well deck. Press on. All right, back in action. Uh, it's actually been a couple of days since last shot or more. Um, I have a little bit of a cold, but I've gone ahead and installed these braces down here to hold up the aft uh, two and a half ton cranes. Uh, they're assembled in the same manner as in the previous video on the cranes. And so we're going to go ahead and just drop them in right now. Uh, and then there's a little brace that goes over the top there uh, to hold those in place. So let's go ahead and do, get the other side. All right, we'll get a little glue, little dab of glue down here again. And install our crane. I do apologize if my fingers get in the way here for a moment. that we want it okay it looks good uh, and then we'll got to get those little straps put on and I think actually uh, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of rigging back here uh, let's see I know I still had to do rigging next so I forgot 
Now we have the ladders that go back in here, our little staircases to get you from the well deck up onto the uh, second class deck right here. So this is the one on the port side. We'll do the starboard side next. Funny enough, in the instructions to Pontos, I couldn't find the part number. I think I went with uh, N14 because the ones that go over here are N15, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, N15 over here. I used N14 over there and fit nicely. All right. All right, here we go. Starboard side. Looks good. Let that set up. All right, pressing on. Okay, we're back. I have done some initial rigging here. I'm sorry I didn't film any of it. Uh, it's just super glue touching little pieces of this uh, string together here. But we've gone ahead and put up the White Star, our Royal Mail, and uh, ran a few of the obvious makes sense rigging lines down into position and it has turned out nicely. Um, I'm actually very pleased aesthetically with the look that this has created here. So now I'm gonna move along back here uh, to our poop deck area. Now, I did not put the stairs in yet because even though I know where they go, I want access to this whole area with my fingers uh, to get the railing into proper position. Uh, and then we've just got all of the hardware and everything that goes in here uh, as well. And this is kind of going to be the same process as before. Let's start in the middle and then work our way out uh, so that our fingers are, you know, out of the way of things. And then we, of course, have more rigging that comes from here. That'll be complicated from the middle of mass down into here. Finish this whole thing up in the back. So, yes, let's press on. All right, uh, I'll show putting all these parts on, but this is a bunch of the bits and everything that uh, go on the back of the poop deck uh, primed up here. We'll be taking those out. And then I thought I'd show this too. This is this is pretty neat. Uh, this is the KA uh, roller fair feeds. Um, yeah, they're just the resin parts. And then you've got the rollers themselves have these really sharp looking photo etch on them, but that's all gonna disappear after I paint them. Just one more time. Uh, for everyone, what I do, my little process here is get them all cleaned up and then they get a coat of Mr. Mr. Metal Primer and that obviously it works on the metal but it actually helps with the resin itself. Uh, then we'll get it painted up and then I'm using, um, to me a NATO black is the color. Let me get that. There you go, it's uh, XF59, that's the color. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit grayer than just pure black. In this scale, it does an excellent job of giving you the uh, look that you want. So anyway, uh, we'll paint all these up and then I'm gonna cut them out and I'll touch them up with this and we'll get them installed. All right, press it on. Okay, uh, here we are in the back of the poop deck and I've gone ahead already and installed uh, our little electric winch and the idea here is to try to put things in the position, actually this goes the other way, uh, try to put things in position that down the road will cause me not to have trouble, right? Um, I debated about putting the railing up on here right away. Uh, the, the issue that I ran into there was, well then, I gotta put this stuff on. So. I guess you just kind of got to pick your poison here. We'll just go ahead and get all this installed. Straight. And then I've gone ahead and uh, pre-painted our uh, stands. These are for the aft two and a half ton cranes. These are all set and ready to go. OK, 
Okay, that looks good. So now we have the two vents that go right next to crane tops. Ideally, spending some time to paint all this up ahead of time uh, makes it easier. You just get this little fun session where you could sit down and put everything in. With this one, I'm going to cheat it out a little bit because otherwise it looks like it's it's going to bump into the stand right here. So we put a little extra CA glue so it sits up right the way that we want. And that'll be nice. For these back hatches here, I went ahead and uh, painted them up white, put the photo etch on, and then inside those holes right here, for the portholes, I put a little dot of uh, clear window glue. It's kind of like a glass. All right, and second one's in. So now I need to pull up. There's on these little squares, there's one there and there. I know it's a bad view. There's these little uh, tent apparatuses. I think we'll go ahead and get those put in. Okay, so we've got this little piece of equipment right here that's covered up tarp. Drop into place, and I didn't take the time to look up what it was. There's one on this side and one on the other side, so I'm going to let you folks in the comments go ahead and identify this. This one is the uh, starboard side one, and there's some little photo etch detail there, and then we'll go ahead and throw the larger one out on the port side. All right, and this is the guy on port. Good. Like that. Okay, fast forwarding along here, um, trying to just stick to most of the relevant stuff. So hopefully you can see right here, I've put in the support for the crane. That's this little thing right here. Learning from my lessons last time, uh, I cut the foot off uh, the bottom of this side and left it on over here. So. In the picture, you should see this side slightly higher than over here. And uh, per my reference, uh, Titanic Ship Magnificent, assuming the picture is the right way, this crane will sit here and go lay on the cradle first with the boom sorted down. And this one will lay on top with the boom angled slightly up. Uh, because this is not level anymore, uh, hopefully I won't have the problem like I did on the bow. And I think you can see in the picture that the, the, this is just a hair higher, um, you know, and if I didn't do it quite right, I'll, I'll put a sliver of uh, a sheet of styrene under maybe this one just to give it the distance that I need. But anyway, uh, this should work out nicely for the crane. So what I'm going to do is probably install the base of the crane and then attach the uh, arm in a position here. Something like that. I got to think about that for a second. Press on. Okay, uh, I figured out my little process here. I, I got the angle right on the crane. And so we're gonna put the one on the port side in first. Like this. It's gonna sit all the way down and looks good. Then, so now it's, it's leaning down and looks good and I should not have trouble and be able to set the uh, other crane on here. We're gonna put a couple of blocks right on here for you know the fake wood blocks um, to hold this thing up, the stack, and then it, you'll see, it, it'll work out fine here. All right, press on. Okay, uh, here are the two little wooden blocks. Uh, hopefully you can make those out right there. Then I installed, I'll try and do this on the camera. We'll put a little CA glue in here. Uh, I got my uh, crane ready to go. I was forced to do a little modifying to the bottom uh, rigging. I basically had to cut away quite a bit of it um, in certain spots so that it would 
sit flat like you, like I need it to right here on the blocks and still have the right look, which is what we're doing. That's pretty good. So it's straight, it's sitting on the wood, and it lays right, and uh, you can, yeah, there's no problems with the way that rigging looks, I think. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, pressing on. All right, uh, back in action, we have our piece 29. These are the cap stands that are included uh, from KA. They are super, super nice, really well turned uh, deals. I'm going to go ahead and hit them with some metal primer. Uh, I think mask off the tops, and then I'll paint them my uh, NATO black. Then we got to come back and we got to weather the top a little bit. So my client, I gave him the option early on. I said, "Hey, how do you, you know, the ship was new. Do you want these super shiny? Well, it was new. It was actually like a year and a half old or two old, two years old. It was old. It was it had time. It wasn't brand brand new. So there was time for these to have tarnished. But you know, hey, what do you want?" He liked the slightly muted uh, look. So we're gonna come back with these painted and do all of that. Okay, so here's some of them. Uh, painted the NATO black, and then um, I had masked off the top here where the brass was at. And as previously mentioned, no, I'm not gonna keep it this natural brass color, but it's really worth seeing, right? So I guess so I'm, I'm showing you this because this is what, if you choose to leave it this way, this is what you would get. Titanic was, as I mentioned earlier, a few years old, two years old, three years old. So it's unlikely that this would have been how they appeared, uh, the tops of the capstans, when she set sail. There, unless they did something to polish it and seal it up, and I don't know that that's necessarily the, the look White Star was going for. All right. Anyway, that's what you've got. Uh, they look good. So we're going to let them sit for a minute, and then I'm going to come back and do my little uh, formula of weathering on top. Okay, here we are back at it. Uh, so I've mixed up some enamel paint. The, I'm using interior green and a flat white that I have mixed together, and we're just going to glop on here to imitate some of the natural wear that happens to uh, brass over time. Now I know someone's going to say, Ben, what ratio of interior green and white, flat white, did you use? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't even know how you guys calculate that stuff. I don't have that kind of little mem uh, measuring equipment available to do that. So anyway, I'm just going to plop it on here like this and let it dry. And you should have just kind of this nice little natural patina. We'll come back and touch it up if we need to. Uh, here are the other ones I did earlier. You can see they're a little bit flatter. It just, it's, they're still brass. You can tell it just took the edge off, right? I mean, that's all we're looking to do. So anyway, uh, that's my, my little trick for that. Uh, pressing on. Okay, so we're back. Um, I'm gonna put a little dab of glue down here. Uh, not using CA glue this time. I'm using the um, E6000 because it will give me an opportunity for 24 hours to decide if I've, well, almost 24 hours, I think, to decide if I put them in the right spot or not. And it dries with a little bit of a rubber elasticity. So <clears throat> that's important because, well, I'm, honestly, I'm not too worried about it. I think CA glue would have done just as good of a job uh, this, just really the, the point is it gives me more opportunity to, to check my work, I guess, and, and, you know, wiggle these around if I decide, or I could just pull it right off right now if I'm not happy with how the placement is. So that's why I'm using these 6,000. On the off chance that they do move for some reason, 
with seasonal change, they'll just we'll just move. It's no big deal. It's kind of like a rubbery connection here. So this will take care of this little section here of the poop deck. Double check a couple things here. But this is looking good. I think we're doing all right. Like so. All right. So, um, yeah. And we're going to stop right here. I, I know because I don't want the video to get too long. And basically we're in a good stopping point. The next thing I would probably do is I'll put in the benches. And once the benches are in, we'll work on... Uh, I guess I'll throw in a, a couple of the parts here, and then we'll work on the little the whole like deck thing that goes back here, the aft steering platform and everything, whatever that's called. And then uh, we'll get the railing and our bits around the edge, and that should wrap up the poop deck. We got to do the flag back here also. Anyway, uh, that's it. Um, ship's looking really, really good. I'm really happy with it. And uh, yeah, that's it. This part one. We'll come back next time with the rest of it. See you guys.